Thank you for joining us at five. I am Roly Hoyt. Faith has the night off on a Monday that feels like a holiday. Governor Sarah Huckabee Sanders spent the morning announcing who will fill the empty seat on our state's highest court. Tonight, T311's Jalissa Garza gives us the background on the new man on the job. Jalissa. Yeah, Rolly, a familiar face will fill the spot left behind by late Justice Robin Wynn. The governor says her pick, Cody Hyland, already has a long history of serving the state. <laughs> Applause filling the old Supreme Court room at the Arkansas State Capitol Monday morning as Cody Hyland was appointed as the newest state Supreme Court justice. He made service to Arkansas the centerpiece of his career. Governor Sanders highlighting Hyland's legal background. He was twice elected prosecuting attorney for the 20th Judicial District, serving Faulkner, Van Buren, and Searcy counties. Hyland also served as the chief legal counsel for the Arkansas Department of Public Safety and as the U.S. Attorney for the Eastern District of Arkansas from 2017 until 2020. After that, he worked on the governor's election campaign. Cody's highest loyalty will be to the Constitution and the rule of law. That's all we can ask from our justices. And that is all that I have asked of him. The appointment now necessary after the sudden passing of Justice Robin Wynn, who'd served on the court since 2015. It will be impossible to fill Justice Wynn's shoes on the Supreme Court, but Cody's decades of experience, even temperament, and love for our state and the rule of law bring him closer than anyone else could. Highland himself acknowledging the role he's set to fill. So it is in many respects a solemn day and while we acknowledge the loss uh, we ex at the same time acknowledge uh, that we have to engage in the sobering and serious responsibility of fulfilling the legal obligations necessary to move forward with the court's business. Highland will serve on the high court until 2025. I have been given a tremendous privilege to serve the people of this state and I am both humbled by that opportunity and sobered by the responsibility in front of me. The governor also noted that this will be the first time the Arkansas Supreme Court will have a conservative majority. Now, if you want to learn more about Cody Highland, you can head to our website, THV11.com. Rolly. Thank you, Jalissa. The state Supreme Court will have a busy fall term on top of welcoming a new justice. Right now, they're preparing to hear yet another appeal of surrounding the Learns Act. This one focused on how lawmakers voted on the emergency clause that allowed the education plan to take effect immediately. There's also the appeal by members of the West Memphis Three in their effort to test certain evidence with new technology. We're following both cases closely. We'll bring you the very latest when those decisions come down. 